What's up, everybody? Doc Dark 1985. There's levels to this. All right, so um, check this out. I'm watching all the news come out about the uh, NVIDIA, the new graphics cards, I think the, the Ampere or whatever, however you say it. And they're talking about the 3090, the 3080, and the 3070, which look amazing as far as like the power and what they're going to do compared to the graphics cards that are out right now. Supposedly the 3070 is going to be more powerful than the 2080 Ti, which right now that is a beast of a card, right? So I say that to say this as a as someone who's also a a console gamer and I can appreciate console. I'm not going to lie, I love playing on PC, I do. But if you follow my channel and you know me, I play on a gaming laptop. So is that really PC? Mm, I mean, I can't upgrade a GPU. Um, but I, I understand what it is to play at 144 uh, frames with a 144 hertz display. I understand what it is to, to play a game on the PS4 and then play it again on the PC at ultra high settings, you know? I, I, I can see the difference, I can feel the difference and the experience is definitely better on the PC, okay? Now, I've had gripes about PC before as far as how easy it is to actually play and you would think that with a gaming laptop I wouldn't have any issues, it would just be plug and play, but I've had issues before where for whatever reason my graphics card wasn't uh, optimized which is which is crazy like I had to go into the NVIDIA control panel and actually optimize it for gaming which like if I buy a gaming laptop that's that's what it should be optimized for but regardless there's there's things that PC definitely destroys consoles on and then there's things where the console experience is uh is going to be better now it's funny because a while ago, I made a video when I first heard about the Xbox Series X and I heard about the PS5 and the power that these things were going to have. I made a video talking about how the next generation console was going to destroy mid-tier PCs. Man, was I mistaken. Man, was I mistaken. And some of you PC veterans out there that, that know the game hopped on, and I give kudos to you, hopped on quickly and told me, you guys were like, Hey, Doc, you tripping. Wait till the next GPUs come out because the GPUs that are currently out now that they're comparing these systems to are going to drop in price. So it's going to be it's going to be even cheaper. And you see, the Xbox Series X is compared. They're saying it's compared to a 2080 Ti. And I don't know if I believe that, to be honest with you. We'll we'll see. We'll see. But we know what a 2080 Ti can do. The other thing is, on the Xbox Series X or the PS5, the games are going to be capped to whatever the developers want you to play at. If you got a PC with a 2080 Ti, you're going to be able to play games over, over 100 frames per second. Now, granted, if you have RTX on or off, it depends. But here's the deal. On PC, I guarantee you, turning off RTX... Rate tracing is going to be an option. On console, I don't know if it's going to be an option. So that means that you guys could be playing, you could be playing the same game as somebody else on console. And let's let's just say best case scenario, the game you're playing, you're actually getting 60 frames per second. And that's sad that I got to say that, right? Let's just say you're actually getting 60 frames per second. On PC with your 2080 Ti, you're going to be able to turn off ray tracing if you want and get above that 60 you're gonna be able to pick whatever resolution you want to play at and get above that 60 frames per second so what nvidia is doing right now with this new graphics card that's coming out the three new graphics cards that are coming out and the prices of these new graphics card man they're putting a a, a real they're putting their foot down as far as why pc gaming ultimately is better now PC gaming is not for everyone. 
And that's that's the whole point of this video, right? What does new graphics card mean for a console gamer? Honestly, it means nothing. It means nothing. I just watched about five different videos talking about the 3080 and the 3070 and the 3090 and everything looked good until I got to the last video. And this guy sounds knowledgeable, it was a channel I watched before. And this guy's talking about how because the way the fans are designed on the 3080, you, ha you can only install it a certain way. You can't install it a different way because it's gonna hit the side glass, it'll hit the motherboard and it'll create heat, going to the motherboard and it'll call heat zones. This is the type of stuff that console gamers don't want to know about. Console, uh, console gamers don't care. I want the thing to work. That's it. And that's why PC gaming, even though superior, might still not be for you. That's why something like the Xbox Series X and the PS5 will continue to live on. Because PC gaming, again, even though superior still might not be superior for you you might prefer i just need a box and all i need is two cords hdmi cable power cable let's play you don't got to worry about the system overheating because sony and microsoft worried about that before they shipped it to you or at least they did right you don't got to worry about installing something wrong all the components are already there you don't gotta worry about your chassis being compatible. Everything's already there. So again, it's all it's all good and dandy. And man, you don't even gotta worry about the power supply. So they're talking about this. The last video I saw the dude was talking about how, depending on what power supply you have right now, you you might need a different power supply. And I'm thinking to myself like, I I get it, PC gamers. I get it. For you guys that have been doing this for a while. This is nothing to you. This is simple because you understand what you understand, right? For some of us, we don't understand it. Again, that's why to me, gaming laptop was like perfect entry into what PC gaming could be because everything was already built for me. The components are already there. Um, I guess you could get a pre-built machine as well. Um, but I was able to experience what it, what it is to play on higher frame rates, what it is to play with different graphic settings, what it is to play for free online, like that that's awesome. But what does what does the next generation of cards really mean to us console gamers? I say us console gamers, but you guys know I prefer to play on my laptop. It's is it a threat? I don't know. I don't know if it's a threat. Because of the simplicity that console offers. But we'll see. We'll see. If consoles could definitely give us 60 frames for every single game, which again, I always say there's levels to this. Look, man, I my card is not my graphics card is not even powerful. I got a 1660 Ti. That's what I got in my laptop, a 1660 Ti. But every single game I play, I play over 60 frames. Every single game I run on that PC, I can run over 60 frames. I'm at the point that I want over 100 frames. And to be honest with you, I don't even know if I can tell the, the difference between, you know, you can tell the difference between 60 and 90, for sure, that's a pretty big gap. I think anything above 100, like 100 or 144, it gets a little iffy to tell the difference. It gets a little iffy, but you can tell the difference between 60 and 90. Cause I can play uh, Grand Theft Auto and I can cap it at 60 if I want. And I can tell the difference when I'm playing it at 60 or when I when I uncap it. So I don't know, man. I, I thought that Nvidia dropping their next generation graphics card was gonna be huge for console gamers, right? And and it is. It shows how the reality is that even this, this next generation of console is behind already by pc standards they're already behind that is crazy they're already behind by pc standards 
you can get Xbox Series X, PS5. Let me take that back. Maybe not PS5 performance because we don't know how the difference in that SSD, right? But you can arguably get Xbox Series X performance right now with a PC. There's no console that can match what, what a high-end PC could do right now. None. My 1660 Ti destroys a PS4 and an Xbox One. Now, I don't have an Xbox One X, so I don't know, and I don't have a, a PS4 Pro. But I'm just, and, and that's a 1660 Ti. That's nothing. That's nothing. You got 1080 Ti, that'll crush my card. You have a 2070, that'll crush my card. 2080, that'll crush my, my card. 2080 Super, 20. Come on, man. There's levels to this. But again, the convenience and the simplicity makes a huge difference. So to console gamers out there, we chilling right now because we don't got to worry about heat management. We don't got to worry about power management. We don't got to worry about software compatibility, motherboards, none of that stuff. Give me the box, I'll buy it, boom, let's play. It is what it is. And most games, most games are going to want to run on the consoles. So they still wouldn't even be able to use the full potential of something like a 3080. Unless we get another freaking uh, crisis type game. You don't know what, what, what crisis did, go ahead and look it up. Crisis was revolutionary. Crisis wasn't running on console. No, we need a high NPC to run that when that thing came out. Even right now, Crisis could, could, could crush you. Somehow they got it running on the Switch. But that's a different that's a different topic. All right, guys, Doc Dog1985. Yo, there's levels to this. Let me leave me your comments. Let me know what you guys think about it. PC gamers, my PC gamers come in here. Let me know what you guys think. My console gamers, let me know. Do you even care that that, that Nvidia's making a new graphics card? And if you're sitting in, if you're sitting in the middle, does this change your mind as far as what you're gonna do when next generation comes out? We out, peace.